he seemed to be really passionate about boarding for breast cancer. So how did he start that? Um, I was diagnosed when I was 22 years old. I found a lump, uh, my boyfriend found a lump when I was 21 and I went to a doctor and he told me it was a fibroid, which a lot of women have. It's just muscle and tissue that kind of changes with your hormones. So um, I, you know, trusted my doctor. I went on my way and about six months later I felt it again and I didn't think it was normal. My gut feeling, you know, led me to, I was up in Maine at a summer camp and I went to a really small doctor, a small town doctor, and she said, you know, it's probably nothing, you're so young, but let's just do a really simple biopsy. And it ended up being stage one breast cancer. And through all the tests and everything, they found a second lump in my second breast. So I had two separate tumors, but um, the first one had grown so, so much larger because they had misdiagnosed me for so many months. And I, you know, I went through treatment, I had to drop out of college, and I was healthy, and I was really fortunate to be in remission right away. And when I moved out to Aspen, after all my treatments, I um, met someone at X Games, and they told me about boarding for breast cancer. So I called Justine, and I said, you know, I'd love to get involved. I live here. If y'all need any help, let me know. And it just kind of, we formed an immediate friendship, and I've been with them ever since for about five years now. And it's something that, you know, I was fortunate enough to be able to be here and let the other women know that detecting it early is the key to survival and, you know, being proactive about your health and your lifestyle and just, you know, leading a healthy life. And It's been a really great output, outlet for me because I get to travel around and meet people that um, are really open to learning about breast cancer. And a few years ago, breast cancer was kind of a, it was a subject people didn't really bring up and now they're bringing it up in high schools. And, we're trying to reach out to some high schools and we're reaching out to so many young women, you know. Ten-year-olds come in the booth and say, thank you for doing this. And they, in a few years, are going to be doing self-breast exams. So, you know, one by one, we're, we're helping people, but in the long run, we're really helping to save lives, which is the most important part for me. So it's been a really good experience.